Hey guys, so I'm here in the office and I'm posting the Cybertruck battery and I realized I don't have any actual video of it. I have a live where I went over it and I have a short when I went on over the battery, but I wanted to go on make an actual video and that's what this one's all about. So this is the battery here and it comes shipped in this uh, anti-static bag. So this is the battery. If you haven't seen it yet, I've done, like I said, a couple of other videos on it. But basically what it is, it's a nominal voltage battery, 41.6 volts. And they call it a low voltage battery on here. But on Tesla's parts diagram, they call it a medium voltage battery. It's got four amp hours. Uh, energy is 166.4 watt hours. And the part number is 16799. 31-00-F and you got a positive lead, a negative lead and the plug that goes on top of here is a Tesla plug obviously with the rocker. It's got the slide locks on each side of it, on each side there. There's two bolts that hold it in place inside the Cybertruck. Obviously it's painted black which is a little bit different than the traditional ones. Let's do something, I haven't done this yet, let's weigh it. So it's 78 ounces for us Americans, pounds, four pounds, 15 ounces. You compare that to a traditional battery, uh, lead acid, and you're coming in at like, these are like 30 pounds. The lead acid batteries are really heavy. So obviously you save a ton of weight there. So the reason that Tesla went to this 48 volt battery is kind of interesting. So basically, you know, traditional auto manufacturers have been 12 volt batteries for years and years and years. And if you don't know, you know, automotive industry, your 12 volt battery is used for things like your headlights, your wiper motors, uh, windows, turn signals, brakes, everything on the car that's electronic has always been 12 volts. Well, Tesla even adopted that and started doing the high voltage battery. There is a DC to DC converter that converts that energy down to 12 volts and it's still a traditional 12 volt lead acid battery or it was. And then recently in the last couple of years, they've finally shifted to a 16 volt lithium ion battery. Uh, so that was the first big change, but traditionally anything that runs off of 12 volts will also be okay to run off of 16 volts. So that wasn't that big of a change. Now with this bad boy, now we're at 48 volts and most things that ran on 12 volts will not take 48 volts. So Tesla had a tall order and they basically had to go to all parts manufacturers because they don't make all their own parts. And so they had to go to all their parts manufacturers and say, okay, we're not running those motors anymore because now we're going to 48 volts. And I'm sure they got a lot of pushback because 12 volts is what it's been for years, you know, for years and years and years. I think like the original, uh, way old school, I don't really know these details, but like the original Model T had like a six volt battery. So what, what was that, like the 1930 era? I'm not exactly sure. Ever since I've been alive, 40 years has been 12 volt batteries. And now we're making the change to 48 volts. And the reason behind that is, you know, I don't know all the exact science, but to push that same voltage, it's a lot higher amperage uh, across the wires. So you have to run a bigger, thicker gauge wire to run 12 volts at a higher amperage rating. Well, you can run the same power-ish under 48 volts and it's gonna pull a lot less amperage. And so you can run a lot smaller wire. So Tesla went from a big wire bundle, you know, a big old wire bundle and then shrunk it down and you know, I don't know, I didn't see the exact specs, but they were saying that they lost, uh, well, they reduced tons of wiring because of the 48 volt switch. So pretty cool, but this is the battery. That's a little history uh, to my knowledge. Let me know in the comments if uh, any of that is incorrect. I don't wanna provide false information. So 41 volts, AKA 48 volt low voltage battery, Tesla Cybertruck, here it is. It is on the website, real deal right there. Uh, listed. So if you need one, go pick it up. Thanks for watching.